Hi, my name's Sue. Today we're going to be making these two animals, so a hippo and an octopus. These are some that I made earlier and perhaps we'll do another craft session another time with these. For this session we need colouring in pens or cranes or paints, whatever you have at hand to, at home, Pritt stick, pencil, toilet roll tubes, a pair of scissors, possibly a ruler and some paper and card. First of all we're going to do the octopus, okay, um, and always make sure that you have newspaper or, or something to protect your table when you're doing any of these crafts. So we've got the toilet roll tube and what we need to do is mark it about a third of the way down and that's where we're going to start with our head as such. Okay, so if you draw a line round it's just a guide as to where you're going to colour up to. Now I've done stripes on this but you can do anything you want. Make it your own. So this, I'm just going to start it and I'll do a different pattern design and I think this time what I might do is zigzags okay and colour that in I'm just going to do a little bit just to give you an idea okay and you go all the way around Right, once you've done your design for the octopus's head, you can start to do the tentacles on the legs. Um, and I'm going to, this time, do a bit of a stripe. So, if you alternate those colours, I did those before, I cheated. you can do like the head any design that you wish so once you've done the colouring in for your tentacles what we need to do is two eyes and what you can do is just fold over your paper put two little circles in the eyes around this circle which can be a bit tricky and then we put some Pritt stick on these if you just it's annoying if you just wet the end of your finger that picks the paper up okay and stick one eye on there just put the black dots in the middle of each one. Like so. And next we create a smile. Okay, so you've put these upturned ends that finishes the smile off. Right, now we're ready to cut the legs or the tentacles. So we're cutting up to the top of where you've coloured in. So it doesn't matter really about cutting within whatever you've cut. Like I've done lines here, but I'm not, I'm not being fussy about uh, where I cut it. all the way around. 
So once you've cut all the way round, this is the nice bit where you curl, just use your finger, fingers to curl the tentacles up. Like so. Can you see? And there, I think, you have your finished octopus. Happy crafting! So continuing on from our last craft, which was the octopus, we're now going to make a hippo. Start with most tubes of roughly five centimetres. So we're going to do the head about seven centimetres. It's just a guide. It's a rough line here. So that's your seven centimetres that you're working within. Now I'm going to copy this hippo. Okay. So we're going to start with this big round head. And the top bit. There's two big eyes on either side. And he's got two goofy like teeth. At the same time, we're going to draw the feet and these won't look like feet at the minute, but if you do like an oblong shape like so and cut in half and you'll see what I'm going to do with that. What you need to do now is colour all this in, in whatever colour I'm going to do, I think that's lilac, and colour this in as well. Obviously you don't colour the teeth in, but otherwise you do colour all this in. This just to say with felt tips to save the ink, if you're just doing lines instead of doing this and it also looks a lot neater it's up to you that's what I like to do now that we've coloured in the head of the hippo and his legs to make it stand out to give definition we go around in black like so. Be careful not to go into the teeth. So they're the eyes. Or where the eyes are going to go. And whilst we've got the black pen, we'll do the nostrils. Let's draw around the teeth. And you see where I'm going with this. This, these are the feet. Once we cut round and cut that in half, so we start cutting. Again, you can do this in paper or card. It's better with card, but it's okay with paper. And we just cut these out. So now we've cut the head out and the feet, it's time to put the eyes on. So as before, just cut out as before when I said about slicking your finger slightly on the end to pick up your eye. Just stick the eye on. Oops. So 
So we want the hippo, if you can see the back there, so about halfway his head. Put some print stick on there. And I'll do it backwards here, show you. I can see what's going on in the front here. So there. Okay. And then we get the feet. I've just put some print stick there. And stick them. There you have Mr. and Mrs. Hippo. Bye.